Hi, I'm Julie, and I want to show you how to make fabulous Christmas bows. Just like this. Okay, here's what you need. You need some floral wire. I use a pretty thin gauge. It's like 20 gauge, I think, or smaller, it might be 22. All right, and then you need your hot glue gun my favorite tool, and you'll need ribbon, and a pair of scissors that are not your sewing scissors, because there is wire in this ribbon and it will destroy your scissors, so use the credit scissors, the, you know, your regular household scissors. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take the ribbon over your hand, so the outside of the ribbon is facing out, and then flip it back over on itself and just keep wrapping it over on itself. You want to have, okay, so we have two loops now. That'll, that would be two loops. Put another one over. There we go. Now you have three loops here. That'll be three loops. And on this side, you have three loops. Okay, and that's the end of my ribbon. So that's how much we're using. All right, you need to take a certain amount of this for your ribbon tails. So I'm at the end of my ribbon, so I have to make do and decide how long my tails are gonna be. Now you want your tails to be approximately double the width of that. So, so you want that and that. So that is your ribbon length for the tails. Okay. So I'm just gonna take about this much. I'm gonna cut it on a diagonal, snap through that wire and then cut very neatly up here. If you get a lot of fraying and you are not using cotton, ribbon, um, you can burn the edge really gently with a, with a candle, with a little, with a flame, just a little bit. Don't start a fire. So anyway, there, that's going to be your tail. Now, the rest of it gets to be your ribbon. Now you need some extra at the end. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I know how much I have left and I want to make it a little smaller. This is going to go all the way. Let's do it again. This goes all the way here. I've got about, it's a little wider than my hand fully spread. Starfish hands, it's about that wide. Okay, so fold it back and over and you just keep dropping it on top of itself with the ribbon out. Okay, then you're going to take it at the center and you're going to squish it. You're just going to fold it together at the center and really try for, really try for center. What is this piece? Why are you sticking out all weird? Okay, you have a weird stick out? Fix it now. Okay, here we go. Squinch it again. Better to fix things now than later. Now you need your wire. Pinch that in your hand. Take out some wire. You're not supposed to cut wire with those kind of scissors, but my husband sharpens my scissors, so. Okay, where's the wire? It's gotta be centered. Switch it together. Okay, so right at the center, we're gonna wrap the wire. Okay, pull it really tight. All right, and then you just wanna, if you have two ends together, you can just give those a little twist. I'm gonna be bad and use my other scissors again to twist the wire. Don't do that. Use real tools. You should be using uh, needle nose pliers to twist your wires. But I'm naughty and I do what I want. Okay, so now that I have this little bow, I'm gonna take it and start spreading these apart. And you gotta 
fluff them with your hands like this. Open it up, fluff it out. You want a big, big fluffy ribbon. Okay, take the other side, fluff them. Isn't this ribbon adorable with the truck and the little Christmas tree in the back? I love the old timey trucks, so cute. Okay, so now we have that portion completed and you can fuss with these as much as you like to make them look how you want. And after you put the, after you install your ribbons, then you're gonna need to fuss with them again. And make sure they look just how you want them. Okay, now I choose my longer flap that's left over and I'm gonna use that to cover, cover the wire. Cause you gotta always hide your wires. Nobody needs to know how you did it. Okay, it's like showing your underwear, don't show your wires, right? Okay, so that's wrapped over top, but I don't have to secure it yet. What I need is to grab my bottoms and put that here and kind of figure out exactly where I'm going to make sure that's even. They're not, so I'm gonna adjust it. Okay, now they're about the same length. So what I need to do is I need to tack it with hot glue back here. And I kind of fold it and tuck it because we don't want to see any of those loose ends. Okay, and just keep looking at it. Make sure it looks pretty. So here's where the hot glue goes on the back, covering up those wires with your little flap. Okay, watch those strings, those are annoying. Okay, here we go. Get that on there. Don't stick your finger in the hot glue. Such an idiot. <laughs> okay, I always do it. I do it every time. Okay, so I'm just pinning it down here with the hot glue. Give that a second to set. As the hot glue cools, it's gonna, it's gonna harden up back there. And so your ribbon is here. Now you just need to install this guy on the back. Now notice, here's my ribbon. Gave it a twist so that both sides are showing to the front. So first I'm gonna tack it between the ribbons. Watch it with that hot glue gun. I have hot glue gloves, but I just don't feel like I can hold things very well with them. So sometimes I'll just, I'll take something and I'll use something else to just press down because that glue will come right through your ribbon. I picked up this ribbon at the craft store. So it's this year's, I think it was Michael's craft store. Okay, so now remember which is your front. Your back side has the flap on it, so that's where the glue's gonna go. Right here. And then that's the front. Make sure you put your ribbon on facing the front. I'm looking at the back side now because that's where the glue is happening. So here, I'm just gonna push that glue down through the fabric with my tool. Just give it a good push. Let it cool. Okay, now when you have your ribbon, you can run wire back here to attach it to your tree or your wreath on your door or whatever. But after you attach it, then you have to re-fluff these. Non-fluffed ribbons are not okay. We have to look festive. There's beautiful gold glitter on here and it looks like it looks like burlap, but it's not burlap. Burlap's just too rough and whatever. This is this is nice ribbon. And so re-fluff your, put your hand inside and fluff those up. Okay? And when you pack these away at the end of the season, you roll up tissue paper and put it inside of your loops. And that way it's preserved for next year so that you don't get these firm creases in here that are not pretty. Okay, so then you just, you just adjust everything. There you have it. Here's a beautiful Christmas ribbon. See how easy that is? Now go make some. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make ribbons and I'll see you on the next one. 
I have some other videos here and here that I think you might enjoy and something up here in the cards for you to check out and I'll see you in the comment section. Thanks for watching.